right. We have gigantic numbers that we see sometimes in these math problems. And we see them in scientific notated form. And sometimes they ask us, how many times bigger or larger is one number compared to the other? And I always have to break it down for my students into smaller pieces. Hopefully you've seen a $2 bill before. They're rare, but they're out there. Now, how many times bigger is a $10 bill if we compare that to a $2 bill? Think about it. Is a $2 bill equal to a $10 bill? The answer is no. They're not the same thing. But if I said that I want to multiply or I need five $2 bills, are they equal now? Well, of course they are. Five times two is 10. And so $10 is five times larger than $2. That's essentially what we're doing. And in order to figure that out, when we are not able to do it on a small scale, like a $2 bill and a $10 bill, we have to take the larger amount and divide it by the smaller amount. So how many $2 bills can I get out of a $10 bill if I take a $10 bill to the bank and ask for $2 bills? Well, I'm gonna get five bills handed back to me by the teller at the bank. So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna divide. And the rule to remember here is when we wanna find out how many times something is bigger than something else, the rule is we wanna take the larger scientific notated number and divide it by the smaller one. So now we need to know which one of these numbers that I've given you up top is the larger number. And that all comes to place values. Whoever has the most place values in a scientific notated number is the larger number. And this is saying that this one has 11 place values. When we compare that to nine place values over here, obviously I'd rather have 11 place values in my numbers. That one's bigger. All right, so let's set up our division problem. 1.12 times 10 to the 11th, that goes up top. Don't forget, think of it as money, $1.12. And then we add on 11 place values, okay? That's our bigger number. And then on the bottom is going to be our 5.6 times 10 to the ninth. And again, I'm gonna change that to make look like money as well. So $5.60 times 10 to the ninth. Now these can be a little bit deceptive because $5.60 we know is a larger number than $1.12, but remember, place values tell us how big a number is. And having 11 place values in a number, that's gonna be a much bigger number than a number that only has nine place values added on to it. Okay, so ne the next step is we have to actually divide our dollar amounts. So I like to take a line and I like to split these right down the middle. And I'm going to only focus in on the $1.12 divided by $5.60. Now, most of the time, you'll be able to use a calculator to do this. They won't ask you to do this uh, if you don't have use of a calculator. So I'm going to punch into my calculator. $1.12. Hit my divided by key and divide that by $5.60. Now you can imagine what we're gonna get. We're gonna get some sort of decimal answer because $5 going into a dollar is gonna produce something smaller than one. I end up with 0 0.2. So really I'm gonna make it look like money again and say that it looks like 20 cents. Okay, let's go over to the other side. And what we need to do is we need to remember our rule. When we go ahead and we divide place values, what we're really doing is we have to subtract the exponents. So when we divide, we subtract. And I like to connect these with a number bond. And that's gonna have my sign in it. And so the subtraction problem that I have from this is 11 place values
minus nine place values. 11 minus nine. All right, so I'm gonna circle these terms. I've got a positive 11 and I have nine negatives. Well, I've got more positives than negatives. I've actually got two more positives than I do negatives. And so that means I'm gonna end up with two place values. Okay, so we're almost home free. We wanna know how many times bigger is this first number than the second number? Well, all we gotta do is convert this back to standard form. This looks like 20 cents here, but this is telling us to give it two more place values. So that means I'm going to move my decimal point two place values to make the number bigger. And this went from 20 cents and now looks like $20. That's right. So really, we know it's not money, but how many times bigger is 1.12 times 10 to the 11th compared to $5.60 times 10 to the 9th? It would be 20 times bigger. Here's our $2 bill example. If I have $5.60 times 10 to the 9th, I'd have to multiply it by what in order to get it to the size of $1.12 times 10 to the 11th? This is where we stick that 20. We would multiply $5.60 times 10 to the 9th times 20, and that now is the same size as $1.12 times 10 to the 11th. All right, be sure to remember your integer rules when you subtract exponents, because if for some reason you end up with one of these numbers and it's a negative, let's say that the nine was negative, you're now taking 11 and subtracting negative nine, which really means two negatives. What do you actually have? You actually have a positive there, if that was the case. So you gotta watch out for your integer rules. 11 and nine, give you a total of 20 place values in that case. So watch out for those and make sure you know your integer rules before you really try to divide scientific notated numbers. All right, here's my quick recap. We need to divide large divided by the small scientific notated number. That's first. Second step, make sure that you divide your dollar amounts first. Our dollar amounts are known as coefficients. That's the number in front of our place values, the times 10 to whatever exponent that they've given you. And the third step is going to be to subtract your exponent. And really it's combining them with a minus sign in between there to figure out what you have. So remember those integer rules. Last step is just making sure that you convert it back to standard form. And that's gonna give you how many times greater one number is than the other. Thank you.